Good afternoon, New London. I'm Rachel Carter. And I'm Garrick Dodson. Today we have fun things in store, like our look into our skate park and Allison Farley's story on the geography beat. Take it away. Community members have been pulling together to raise money for a skate park in our small town of New London. Personally, I'm really excited about it. And now it's time to skate on over to my feature. Take it away. Hello, I'm Garrick Dodson reporting for Tiger Television. This week, I got an inside look at the new skate park committee. Take a look. My name's Teresa Roberts. Um, I am the uh, head of the association, we have the New London Skate Park Association. Um, my son Randy and his friend Trey went to the city council meeting and wanted to see about getting a skate park here in town. Um, the council was positive about it, um, but they wanted some adults involved, so myself and a couple of the other moms, we formed the Skate Park Association. The city is considering giving us some land out by Allen Blasting Coating. Um, they would lease it to the association and that's where we would be able to build the skate park. So far we have raised around $2,000 for the skate park. Um, our goal is $100,000, um, but we don't have an exact amount yet. Uh, we're working with two companies as far as design concepts. Um, we're working with Spawn Ranch Design and Pillar Designs. We've had some fundraisers and that's how we've raised our money so far. Uh, we had a paint night, we've had a dinner and silent auction, we have sold our t-shirts, which we do still have some t-shirts available. We have a few sizes of each design available if you would still like to purchase a t-shirt. $15. Uh, all of the proceeds go to the skate park, and you can email me at teresa.roberts at nlcsd.org. This has been Garrick Dodson reporting for Tiger Television. Well, I knew this was an idea, but I didn't know how close it was to being a reality. I hope it works out. Hey Rachel, do you know what the capital of Russia is? No, I don't, but I never really was good with geography. Well, Allison is going to be showing us the ge state geography bee. Maybe that'll help. This is Allison Farley reporting for KGTV. So, we might have learned that a lot of us struggle with geography. That's certainly not the case for one New London 8th grader. Let's take a look. And we started with all of you out here, and we're down to 8. So, how about a round of applause for these <laughs> My name is Samuel Linney, and I am the school geography jam champion and I'm going to state. Hi, I'm Mr. Bence and I teach middle school social studies and high school psychology and sociology. Well, we start off with um, a class competition and it's actually from each section. So we will have a winner of each section of the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And then that winner will advance and move on to the school B finals. And the winner of the school B finals then takes an online test from the National Geographic Society. And if they score in the top 100 scores in the state, then they will qualify for the competition at uh, University of Northern Iowa. It feels pretty good because you know that you've won out your school at least, and you might be going to state and win there. Have I studied for the state geography? I have, but there's this little thing on their site there it's 10 questions a day and it's on that kind of stuff. Categories I'm concerned with are rivers and lakes and bodies of water in general. Well, I think it's a love for, uh, for the subject. Sam has always um, 
I think with social studies, it's always kind of come easy for him. And I think uh, his father also has always had a love for social studies. So um, I think that's that's why Sam was really successful at it. There was no pressure for him, and it was just something that's came easy in his life. Any misconceptions from general audiences are you have to study for it a lot to actually win anything when you just have to do a couple of things a day to prepare for it. Do I think I can win? I think I can, but it's going to be pretty hard because there's some pretty tough competition out there. About the geography bee, we've, I've been doing it for, oh, I'd say at least 15 years now. And we've taken um, kids up consecutively, I think, for the last four or five years have qualified for the state competition. So it's, it's really neat to see uh, Sam make it, and, and it's a great experience. Um, last year, uh, Ryan um, almost made it to the Nationals, and I think Sam will have a, a really good chance. And it's just a, it's a neat uh, setup for... Other than doing athletics, it's it's another it's another type of thing to show um, what students can do in, uh, in in school. I'm Ryan McLaren, and I went to the Geography B in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. My advice for Sam is to study and keep calm when you're getting asked the questions. Good luck, Sam. I wish you the best of luck, Sam. You better win. Good luck, Sam. Good luck, Sam. Make us proud. Good luck, Sam. I hope you win. Good luck, Sam. This has been Allison Farley reporting for KTTV. Tonight there is a high school girls and boys golf meet at Columbus at 4 p.m. On Monday, we have a high school boys golf at 4 p.m. at Holy Trinity at Deerwood. Also on Monday, we have a high school boys track meet at Central Lee. On Tuesday, we have a high school girls soccer game at Centerville at 4.15 p.m. At 4.30, we have a 7th and 8th grade girls and boys track meet at Danville. At Minneapolis, we have a high school boys track meet at 4.30. And at 9 a.m., we have a high school girls golf tournament at Flint Hills. And on Thursday, there's a high school girls and boys track meet in West Burlington at 4.30 p.m. A high school girls soccer game at Tumwa at Eastlake. And at 5 p.m., we have a high school boys soccer game at Highland. We'll see you next time on Tiger, Tiger Television. Time.